Hi, it is officially the final countdown to race day. It's November 5th. I leave for Outer Banks in five days. We just did our last long run before race day this morning. It was 10 miles, felt like a piece of cake. My body kind of hurts, but you know, so I'm struggling to comprehend that this is happening. This is actually really happening, but it's okay. I feel like I'm handling it well. I've been so busy lately that I literally haven't really, it hasn't sunk in. And I think even after I finish, it'll take a lot of time to sink in that this is something that I've accomplished. In lieu of that, I treated myself this morning. I noticed that my favorite running, one of my favorite running shorts from Target have a hole in the pocket. So promptly, I bought a new pair of just black. They have pockets. They are so freaking comfortable. And they're basically the same exact thing that I had from Target, except better. New pair of shorts. This is the bra that I got. Oh my gosh, they just do so well with their design, with their colors, the material. I wish you could feel this. For race day, I know this is stupid. Like I know that I should not be wearing a brand new outfit that I have never run a super, super long run in before. But I wanted a special all Brooks outfit for race day. I would never advise anyone to do this, um, but I don't take my own advice. So on race day, potentially, I think, I'm still gonna think about it, but I think I'm gonna wear these new shorts that I bought. They're shorter than the black ones. But they fit me so well and they are seriously the best. They've got like the adjustable in the color and I'm going to pair them with this super flattering fitting top I don't feel like it'll disappoint me the material is way too good to give me any issues so I think I'm just gonna full send it and wear that on the race day maybe I'll test it out sometime this week and I'm also probably gonna wear this bra I deserve a new outfit to run a friggin marathon in okay okay and I have bought a lot of clothes during the training process of this marathon and each time I've justified it by saying I a marathon like I deserve it so it's fine I am running a marathon oh my god anyway I still have lots of time I just wanted to show you guys these new pieces that I bought this vlog is going to hopefully capture the whole process of running and finishing my first ever marathon in Outer Banks, North Carolina. I'm really excited to share my thoughts and feelings afterwards. I think this is such a cool thing to document and I'm just really, really looking forward to getting away for another couple days, exploring a new place and checking off something on my bucket list while doing it. So stay tuned. <sighs>
so happy I don't have anything to do today because I literally can't function but just wanted to recap the experience talk about it a little bit honestly this is gonna be kind of hard to talk about just because it's so fresh I have now run a marathon and yes I was right it doesn't feel real I was reflecting on it in my journal this morning even that was hard <laughs> like I don't why am I I was emotionless after I finished, like I didn't cry and now like talking about it makes me want to cry. This is so weird. Anyway, I surprised myself so much um, by how calm and collected I was before the race. Usually I get like horrible race day anxiety, but I was perfectly fine before the marathon. I have no idea how, but that was kind of nice. I mean, it was unexpected. I feel like I just like had a really good energy going. I was positive. I felt confident. I knew that I had done all the prep that I needed to do. So I felt really just confident and like it was gonna go okay. My mom was having some trouble with her knee. And so she was struggling through the first half, but I had a really good, strong, solid first half. We stuck together the whole time and up until mile 16, I seriously felt like, you know what, I am doing this. The only expectation that I had for myself going into this, I didn't care what my time was. I mean like a little bit, but like I tried really hard not to care what my time was. I wanted to stick with my mom. I wanted to finish and I wanted to feel as strong as I possibly could. Um, like I did during some of our training runs. I had some really good training runs. I really wanted to feel that way while running it. Um, and so up until mile 16, I felt really good running it. And so I was like, I'm doing this. This is something that I'm doing. This is, it's going exactly the way that I want it to go. So then I had been having some trouble with my left hip I don't know, like the past couple of weeks or whatever, and I felt like it was a lot better, and then it started flaring up. And basically, after that point onward, about like mile 17, 18, I felt like I was not going to be able to continue to run. Basically, all the joints in my legs after that, just like, they were like, you know what? Yeah, we're not really feeling this anymore. We're just gonna like, we're gonna head out. So I was in excruciating pain. I could hardly walk, let alone run. And my mom um, was still dealing with her knee. We were like, we were a mess. Stuck together the entire time and we ended up walking quite a bit. 
but we would try to run when we could but it did get to the point where my foot was hurting so bad I was having this sharp pain and I could hardly run I couldn't run the way that I wanted to run and it was so frustrating um, and my mom at one point even looked at me and she just like started crying because she just it hurt her to see how badly I was hobbling and it hurt me to see how badly she was hobbling and we were just a mess we ended up finishing we were really struggling afterwards like it was just like getting back to our hotel afterwards it was just like oh my god we were icing our legs all night there was there was a lot of disappointment. I was re-watching some of the footage that I took while we were there and like after the race and stuff and you wouldn't have guessed that it went the way that it did and it just goes to show like my mom and I were even talking about this. It just goes to show how easy it can be to like completely change the way that others view your experience. Like I could show you guys all the good parts, but I'm trying to be realistic like it was not what I wanted it to be. Um, it was not what I expected it to be. And whenever I start to feel myself feeling really disappointed about it, I just keep reminding myself that this is my first marathon. I did it. I got it out of the way. And I did finish it. Um, it wasn't what I wanted. I had elements that I couldn't control. My body was not at the same level of energy that my mind was. I mentally felt very, very strong that day. And I believe if my body had been up to it, then I could have done amazing, but it's okay because I still did it and nothing can take that away from me. So I've just tried to kind of look at it that way. And even now I'm surprising myself. Like I am so hard on myself that you'd think that I just would have imploded, um, but I've really just been trying to shift my outlook on it. I can't run. I won't be running for a little bit, uh, which is going to be really hard. But I just need to let myself recover. My legs are still in great pain. My mom, my poor mom is having the worst time with her knee. You should have seen us walking through the airport yesterday. It was so bad. You know, she said to me last night, and oh my God, why? She said to me last night that um, there's no one else that I would have rather struggled through that with than you. And <laughs> that just hit me because it's so true. I'm so happy that we were able to do it together. I honestly don't know what I would have done if she hadn't been with me um, when I was dealing with that. I think we helped each other out a lot and we both were struggling. Neither one of us at that point cared about our time. We just wanted to finish and I'm just so endlessly grateful for my mom. I mean, she's the reason I'm running in the first place. And so to share that experience with her while it was extremely hard and very disappointing, dissatisfying, I mean, we did it together. And that's what was on my bucket list. Not only to run a marathon, but to run a marathon with my mom. And so I did it. We did it. And it wasn't pretty. It wasn't pretty at all. But we did do it. And we're both going to recover and continue to do what we love. And, you know, after such a horrible experience, you would think that I would be like, no, never again. I'm never doing that again. I took, I spent 20 weeks of my life training for this thing for it to all turn to shit on race day. But you know what? That's not how I feel at all. I feel like, you know, I have to redeem myself. So I am already thinking about what marathon I'll be running next. So yeah. Mm -hmm.